In Nelson Mandela, in his inaugural speech when he became president of South Africa, it was a great speech, but one of the things he said in the speech, and I want to read it to you, um, in terms of wisdom for life idea for us, he said, our deepest fear isn't that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant and talented and gorgeous and fabulous? But actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. And your playing small and playing safe does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in all of us. And, and as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same thing. As we are liberated from our fears, our presence automatically liberates others. I love that because what he's saying is that our freedom gives permission to others to be free. But often, especially in the society where you may live, or the postcode where you live, or the background you came from, or the culture that you live in, certainly here in the United Kingdom, uh, we are not known for being generous towards other people. We are not known for being complimentary to other people. Uh, uh, things we like about them, uh, promoting people, speaking well of people. We're more known for negativity and pulling people down. The tall poppy syndrome, we call it, in this country, where if someone's a bit taller than us, doing better than us, we feel it's our job to pull them down a peg or two, to sort of let them know that the, who do you think you are kind of thing. Then that's what Mandela is speaking against. Of course, in apartheid South Africa, it was a message that was deeply needed, but it's needed all across the world. And I want you to risk being you. I think it's, it's risking being you is what he's talking about. That no one benefits, society, the world, do not benefit from you shrinking back in case you step on someone else's toes, in case you steal someone else's limelight. There is no benefit in not being you. Life is too short for you not to be you. And I think what Mandela is saying, still his voice is still saying to us all across the world, um, be you, that God sent you here to shine. You don't have many years to do it. So shine and be the you that God intended you to be. And maybe that shining that you have will just liberate someone that does not believe they have anything to shine about. And that's what he's saying, that if enough of us did that, it would have a knock-on effect to liberate others so that out of them comes the greatness that's in them too.